Sheffield Celebration of Sport Dinner was held at the EIS Sheffield and included a special grassroots award section driven by the star. Here are the winners. The winner of the Sports Woman of the Year, Byron Page. How nice to be recognised by the people in the, in the city that's adopted you, if you like. Um, just amazing. I didn't expect this at all. Um, just thank you for everybody's support and um, nice words about kind of watching me in the Olympics and saying that I've inspired them. So it's really nice. And the winner of the Sportsman of the Year award goes to Freddie Woodward. <laughs> Yeah, can you sum up what 2016 has been like for you? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> um, well, this is a massive surprise for me because I didn't even realise I was up for an award coming here tonight. So, and I've, I've won one. <laughs> so, cool. And the winner of the Sports Club of the Year is Stride Out Sheffield. Sounds like you're doing a fantastic job. Many, many congratulations. Well done. And the future star is Hannah Kane. At 17, Hannah has been the emerging star of Sheffield Football Club's women's Super League team despite a serious leg injury. Hannah can't have to be with us. She has a very good excuse because she's currently playing for England. So please. Welcome to our stage, a mum to collect the awards. But credit to her, she's an absolute outstanding star. Well, congratulations to her and to you for getting it to this point. Thank you. The winner of the Unsung Hero Award is Wajid Nazir. Wajid, congratulations. What prompted you to get involved with the centre in the first place? Well, there were a lot of uh, antisocial behaviour happening in the area and uh, the stakeholders business. and we thought with the, the help of uh, York Sport Foundation and Sport England to uh, open a kind of facility so uh, we opened a boxing gym and it took off from there really. The award for overcome adversity goes to Saeed Jamal. Old Clifton Community School rugby league player with Dern Valley Bulldogs fled with his mother and siblings from Afghanistan after attacks by the Taliban. I feel as a family, not just feel everyone just makes me feel as a family, and to be part of that is just just absolutely amazing. And what do you hope to go on and do? Oh, definitely to be professional rugby league players. We wish you all the very best of luck. Thank you. Well, you know the fact that you're out there recognising the thousands of hours that are put in by volunteers helping young people and I said here in a few words I said that we've got a lot of ordinary people doing extraordinary things and that goes for the grassroots where we've got some very ordinary people doing extraordinary things in helping young people in the grassroots development of sport throughout the whole of the city and indeed the city region as well. A few weeks ago, a few months ago, Jess Greenish was running down that track probably I don't know five or six hundred kids in here on a, on a school sports day and we've had probably the best dining club in Yorkshire in there this evening and I think how we've been able to do the transformation of that and I think how we, our people have actually really enjoyed that experience is something that I think we may well repeat in the future.